Greetings, everybody. Dave DeWalt here, founder and CEO of Night Dragon. We're an investment and advisory firm focused on cyber safety, security, and privacy. We're coming to you live from NASDAQ's market site here in New York City. Happy holidays to uh, you as Happy well, holidays. Mike, and uh, introduce you in a second, but we're doing night vision events here to talk a lot about the cyber and technology and the whole world that's changing so rapidly for technology. And we have just a special guest today. Mike Viola is the principal technologist at NASDAQ. And I learned just a minute ago, you helped even build the video board that's behind us and the tower that's right out in front of us. Is that true? Yeah, those were a lot of weekends of uh, hard work here. But yeah, it's, it's a special place. Many a day of launching companies and IPOs and bells, I didn't know who was really behind working on this. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we, NASDAQ never had a trading floor. We've always been virtual. So this is our place to meet. You know? Oh, I love it. Yeah. And you've been at the company an incredible amount of time. And I hate to date you, but 37 <laughs> years at NASDAQ. Yeah. And tell a little bit of that story if you would. 37 years, I didn't even know NASDAQ was around 37 years. I guess I'm just learning that myself. We were, uh, 71 is where the timeline starts, well before my time. <laughs> but in 86, when uh, a very big company called Microsoft ipo I started here. and. I was a developer, heads down, writing code for our operating system, our, our applications. Our what programming language was that? I was assembler in those <laughs> days. Assembler, yeah. And then I graduated to C, but I, I was involved in a lot of the infrastructure. Uh, I started a group of uh, folks that moved everything off of our mainframes onto modern systems. I built our DR strategy in those days. and. Uh, just made sure NASDAQ stayed up, <laughs> which was very important. Yeah, that would still be, is. That would be really, really important. Yeah. Please keep the markets <laughs> up and running for me, Mike, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, so I've always seen NASDAQ from the outside in, but I've always been impressed with the leadership that here, uh, Dina Friedman's an incredible CEO, the team's amazing. Brad Peterson, one of my favorite CIO, CTOs in the world. I know you've had a chance to work for great leaders. Talk a little bit for a second. I mean, NASDAQ as a tech-enabled company, and what does that mean to you? That's a really good question. The, the leadership and the culture at NASDAQ is fantastic. That's why I'm still here. Uh, Brad and Adina, two uh, folks that I work with very closely. I've known Adina since she's been an intern here, which uh, she was a very good intern and <laughs> a very good leader. All the way to CEO. All the way to CEO, so you can do it. Um, Brad is an excellent <coughs> CIO, and just an example, both of them are examples of leaders that are innovative, demanding, you know, it, everything has to work, and uh, the company culture is, is they, we work very hard, we are very exact in making sure things work, but we also know how to have fun, and uh, I think that's created a really good place to work. It's, it's very hard to ever leave NASDAQ. No one usually wants to. <laughs> talk a little bit about, and I've heard Adina talk about this, but I want to hear from your vantage point, just safety and security around all this technology. Again, culture, leadership. I know you play a big role in this as well. Talk about security as a part of NASDAQ, if you can. Sure, and that has been something that's changed over the years. I remember the days we had a very small security group at NASDAQ. But over the years, the challenges, the security required, the protection we needed has exploded. And the innovation in that space has really helped NASDAQ, because we've partnered with very strong security companies like FireEye, like Mandian, and now Night Dragon. I think we've seen incredible innovation. Thank you for plugging my company, sir. Yeah. I appreciate uh, that. I, I <laughs> have to. It's, it's an important part. And Really, the innovation in that space has helped us on the infrastructure side, on the development side. It, that is not our main job, to, to write security software. So we really needed partners like that, that not only protect us, but innovate and scale forward, you know, forward thinking. Mike, talk a little bit about maybe what's keeping you up at night for a minute. I mean, here you are, 37 years, you know, every inch from the boards to the tower to the technology. I mean the world of threats and things are changing, right? And you know, with somebody with your experience, kind of what areas would you tell the audience you're most concerned with? Well, everyone's talking about the AI explosion that's taking place and all of the opportunities to automate and 
you know, build new patterns that may be unrecognizable today, that brings up the really important need to, to improve the protection and to innovate on the patterns that are coming and how they're changing. How they are, it's, it's really become insidious how we are being attacked on a, you know, innumerable, innumerable amount of times yeah. a day. But it, it's, it's really uh, incredible of how uh, well it's been, how well we've worked together with partners like yourself. You're one of the largest data companies in the world. People don't quite realize how big of data, how important that data is, how, how vital that data is to the world as well. I mean, how do you think about data security in the world of AI? Data protection is number one. We're constantly looking to improve that. Um, it is our data. You know, we are a gold source of a tremendous amount of financial data that's very important to the economy and the financial markets. We cannot let that data be corrupted or compromised in any way. So we invest a lot of time, effort, resources, and uh, groups to make sure we're protected. So one of the coolest people I've ever met is somebody who, much like you, I have a background, computer science, programming, assembly, C, and then I was so bad at it, I had to become a CEO, so then they'd only let me write <laughs> one line of code because they, they didn't want me touching it. But you have many other amazing attributes as well. <laughs> so not only a technologist, security professional, a musician as well. So talk a little <laughs> bit for a minute because you got a chance to show me the band <laughs> and I didn't know NASDAQ really had a band. I didn't know how big the band was. I didn't know you and Brad play in the band. Say a few words about that. Oh boy, all right, this is a, the fun part, right? So NASDAQ has a house band. We're called the No Latency Experience, NLX. <laughs> how did you name that? Well, we're an exchange, and a lot of exchanges have that three character ending in an X, and it made sense. Plus, we are the lowest latency exchange on the planet, so it just made sense. I see. Now, we're 10 of us now uh, in the band. Uh, it started out in five years ago in 2015, where Brad Peterson, who you mentioned, our harmonica player and one of our founders, I'm the CEO of the band, actually, and we took a, a chance at playing a gig in our headquarters downtown when we were in uh, One Liberty Plaza. And the whole company just went ballistic. It was a lot of fun. We, we just have a, it's a family. The band is literally a family. We've been together for nine years. We played at reInvent. We played in Times Square this year uh, and Nashville just a few weeks ago. What kind of music do you play? It's high energy cover, but we also have our own originals. One of them, our, our lead singer, John Lamone, who is our InfoSec PMO, wrote a song called Rewrite Tomorrow, which is based on uh, Adina's, you know, uh, attributes of the company and, and uh, values of the company. And it's kind of a punk rock song, and uh, it's, it's, it's gone a little viral internally. So we have a lot of fun with that. Because <laughs> the employees love it, our partners get together, uh, and we, we do a lot of, uh, of events together using the band. I always felt such a kinship to NASDAQ for so many reasons. I even had a daughter who worked at NASDAQ for a number of years who was a musician as well. She's now in venture capital elsewhere, but my love for the company, my respect for the company from the leadership, and now learning about the band, the CEO of the band, meeting you and knowing you, Mike, um, it's been a great honor, and I'm really thankful you came on the show. And if we can get the, um, the music so we can put it together with all of this, we'll have a little fun with that too and help promote that too. Be happy to help. It's been an honor to be here with you as well. Mike, thank you so much. Thanks thank for you. the partnership and relationship. All right, cheers.